Ever wondered how hackers can gain unauthorized access to a website's data? It might be through a method called local or remote file inclusion, also known as LFI and RFI. Now, you might be wondering, what exactly are these? Simply put, LFI and RFI are common web vulnerabilities that allow an attacker to include or inject files from local or remote servers into a web application. This could potentially provide the attacker with unauthorized access to sensitive data or even control over the application itself. Imagine a locked house, your web application. Now imagine a burglar, the attacker. LFI and RFI are like hidden side doors that the burglar can use to enter your house without needing the key to your front door. This is why understanding these vulnerabilities is crucial in the world of web security. In the next few minutes, gain insight into the workings of LFI and RFI and how you can safeguard your web applications. Diving right in, what exactly is Local File Inclusion or LFI? Well, to put it simply, LFI is a type of vulnerability that exists within a web application. It's a way for attackers to include files that are already present on the server hosting the application. Now let's break it down a bit more. You see, when a web application is poorly designed or not properly secured, it might allow the user to specify part of the file path. This is where the trouble begins. An attacker can manipulate this path and trick the application into including files it really shouldn't be accessing. Imagine, if you will, a library. In this library, there are public books that everyone is allowed to read, and then there are private documents, securely locked away. Now suppose there's a flaw in the library's filing system that allows anyone to request these private documents simply by altering the request form. That's essentially what's happening with LFI. An attacker using this vulnerability can access sensitive files, such as configuration files or even the source code. This can lead to all sorts of problems, from data leakage to complete system takeover. It's a bit like leaving your front door wide open and going on vacation. Not the best idea, right? Well, that's what happens when you leave your web application vulnerable to LFI. Now that you have a basic understanding of LFI, let's move on to its counterpart, RFI. Now, moving on to remote file inclusion or RFI, how does it differ from LFI? Well, RFI is a bit more complex and perhaps more dangerous. It's a type of vulnerability that allows an attacker to include files from a remote server. This means unlike local file inclusion, where the attacker is limited to files on the same server, RFI can pull in files from anywhere on the internet. Imagine a scenario where you have a website that uses a parameter to determine which page to load. An attacker could manipulate this parameter to point to a malicious script hosted on a different server. The website, thinking it's just loading another page, would then execute this script, compromising its security. This is the power of RFI. It's like opening your front door and inviting a stranger in, not knowing they have ill intentions. The stranger in this case is the malicious script, and your home is your server. So the attacker doesn't need to have any files on your server. They can simply host their scripts elsewhere and trick your server into running them. And this is why RFI is considered more dangerous than LFI. It's an open door to the world, and unless you're careful, anyone can walk right in. With this knowledge of LFI and RFI, you're now equipped to understand how these attacks can be prevented. So, how can you protect your web applications from these types of vulnerabilities? Well, the key to preventing local and remote file inclusion attacks lies in implementing some straightforward yet crucial measures. First off, input validation is essential. By ensuring that the data received from users is validated, you can prevent unauthorized access to your files. It's like employing a meticulous bouncer at the door of your digital club, only letting in guests on the list. Secondly, limit your file inclusions. The less you rely on including files, the less chance there is for an attacker to exploit this feature. Think of it as minimizing the number of doors in your fortress, thereby reducing potential entry points for intruders. In summary, we've explored the sinister world of LFI and RFI attacks, their workings, and prevention methods. We've journeyed through the dark alleys of path traversal attacks and the risky business of including remote files for exploitation. Remember, understanding these vulnerabilities is the first step towards robust web application security. Stay safe and keep learning.